Hello, welcome back to George's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's quite a pretty card for a child. Um, I got this idea from Pinterest. There was a few on there, so I can't remember the name of the girl I got it from, but there was a few on there of this style. To make this card I've used a new to me stamp set moving along. I actually bought this stamp set for my great grandsons. They're going to be the first one's two in July uh two in May, one in July, and the oldest one's going to be four in December. And I thought, oh that'll make some nice cards for them. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'm using the train engine and the carriage, just them and the clouds. And the sentiment, it's your day. I'm also using for the inside handsomely suited, a happy birthday to you. And I'm using tasteful label dies. And I'm going to be using this one, this big one here. So I keep forgetting I've got these dies. I'm going to put them in a, a wallet because when they're stuck in there, they I forget about them. Right, the card base I've got. I've got a real red card base of eight and a quarter by. F no, it's not. 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth, scored at 5 and 7 eighths. I'm doing it this way. I had this in my stash, so I thought I'd use this this way. I've got a piece of basic black of 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. I've got a piece of white which I've already embossed. You see that? Using this embossing folder like um, bark but there's no name on it so I don't know who made it and this is five and a half by three and three quarters that goes on there also have another piece of black at three and one eighths three and one eighths by four and a half and a piece of DSP. Now this is really old DSP, but it's the only real red DSP I had. This is from the old, really old. Um, and this measures three inches by four and three eighths, and that will sit on top. We we'll have our red train. So to get started, we need to. Glue all this lot together. Why not? So, because we're not stamping on any of this. That we should have stamped the train first so it could dry. Let's do that. Let's stamp the train. Got some scrap here. And I'm using my VersaFine for this because I want it to really stick out. So, on my train engine, I'm going to put it there. Nice and dark. And then with my carriages, I'm going to line it up and put it as close as I can to my engine. It's got to be really close so that I can cut it out within this die here. And I need to another one. And hopefully 
they will fit in there just like that and then we want to stamp it's your day underneath the middle carriage ink on there, don't know where that come from it's not on the label nice right now the smoke I'm going to put it coming out of the chimney and I'm doing two lots like that that will still fit in there nicely like that. so we'll just let that dry for a little while before we colour it in and we'll continue sticking these down I couldn't tell you the last time I used this embossing folder. I've got a really nice embossing folder in my birthday box, which I shall be using in a card later on. Well, later on to you, because you won't see it for a couple of days, but I'm actually going to be using it. <laughs> today because I'm filming more than one card right and stick this on here Giving it an even border all the way round. And um, we'll leave that on there because that's going to get popped up on dimensionals. Right then. We need a piece for the inside. And we've got the word. Happy birthday to you, which I forgot about. Ink it up and stamp it down, hopefully straight. Yeah. And that we're going to pop inside. Now we need to colour in our train, which is really easy. I've got three pens black, and we're just going to colour in this bit here. it's called the carriage and then the barn doors Smoky slate for this bit here. I don't know what I forgot to colour in. Forgot 
to colour in the chimney stack. And the rest of it will be coloured in with real red. on the door. That's what we get them. engine itself Hope you're all keeping well. I'm looking forward to being um, the UK people that is being allowed out March. My release date's the thirty first of March call it release date. That's when the government said I had to stay in. Right, now we need to cut this out. So it's not going to fit on like that. So I am going to chop it up. Me machine, I forgot to bring it. And we're going to tape this down. our little topper which will sit on there I've got a nice empty bin my husband emptied my bin for me today going to do is stick this down in the middle of this
so yeah and we're going to put some dimensionals And place that in the middle. There we are, like that. All that's left to do now is to put some gems down. And I've got these black gems and they're three together. And I'll just put three there. And that's two. I have got another. No. blue one and a red one. Let me like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.